Hello fellow butterfly watchers, how are you? Today's topic is what do you do if you're out watching butterflies, you're putting your observations into eButterfly, the great online database, but you really don't know what kind of butterfly it was that you just saw. Well, the good thing about eButterfly is that all the records are vetted. They're vetted by regional experts who look at each record, and if you've made a weird uh, identification, they will help you correct it. And there's a couple of different ways that they can do that. Um, one option is for you to simply take a photograph and post the photo with your, your record. The experts will look at it. That's cool. Here's Zach McDonald. He's out taking photographs right now. I'm prowling around the poplars here on a nice summer day, beating the bushes, and there's skippers everywhere, but I don't know what they are. Now I got a nice underside view of a skipper on the ground earlier, and I was able to get a picture of it, but now I want to, oh, there's a skipper on this leaf right here. So I'm going to try and get a top side view of the skipper and get the dorsal surface of its wing. Perfectly good photograph of a Hobobox skipper. The second option, let's say you don't have your camera handy or you don't like the kind of photographs you get with your phone, well, maybe you can take a little field sketch and post that. Oh, what the heck is that? I'm kind of thinking it might be some dwarf subspecies of uh, the white admiral, but I don't know. So I'm going to take a field sketch here outlining some of the major details that I can see and hopefully somebody will be able to tell me what it is. So I'm looking at it here. I'm going to start drawing the, the abdomen and the head, give them a couple eyes, and then I'm going to start with the four wings here. Wings are pretty key in, a, in identifying the species. So I'm seeing he's got a white band towards the marginal surface of the wing here. Fill in some hind wings. Now, your sketch doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to hit the major details. So I'm filling in the darker tones here to emphasize that those bands are of a lighter color. I'll give it a couple of antennas. So what's this? Oh, I know. It's actually a type of inchworm moth. Maybe Rumoptera hastata or Rumoptera subhastata. He should know these. Of course I know what it is. I'm just acting. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, if I had a nickel for every time that somebody said they had a butterfly that's not in the field guides and it turned out to be an inchworm moth, I'd have enough money for a coffee. And the third option is simply to describe the butterfly in words. Any description is better than none. And again, you know, you can, you can either make a wild guess as to what you think the butterfly is, or you can enter the record as an unidentified or an unknown species. Unknown species one and unknown species two are available categories on the, uh, on the, on the website. So I'm hunting around here and I just ran into a butterfly on the wing and I picked up on this iridescent blue tone. And so I'm thinking it's a species of blue, but I'm not sure, but it just landed in the grass here, giving me a chance to take some notes on the ventral surface of the wing. So it's uh, above all a mid gray tone and it seems to have this wavy string of dark black dots on the sub-marginal surface of its forewing. Now these dots are surrounded by, seems to be a, a lighter halo, and they seem to be more prominent than the few dots found on its hindwing. So using these notes, I think I'll be able to consult an expert and get a positive ID. Yep, that's a pretty good description of a silvery blue. Should be common at that location at this time of year. So happy butterflying, hope this has been helpful. And by the way, Zach and me, we actually do know what these butterflies are, or at least we think we do. <laughs> I'm just acting. <laughs>